Hey you guys and welcome back to Mochi Design. Today we are going to do something interesting and learn a lot of different things today. I hope you guys are ready. So we're going to start by importing something to the library. Um, so we're going to go to import to library, file, import, import to library. And so we're going to put in this magnificent picture of a thunderstorm. I'm just going to name it so that I know what it is because it just had the person who actually took the picture on there. So I named it Thunder. And then I'm going to straighten everything up. The size fits perfectly to the stage here. And that's what it looks like. It's a dark stormy night looking and it looks like it's in a field and there's lights in the distance. So I made an extra layer and we're going to name the layer Thunder. That's going to be where the background picture will be. And then we're going to put exploding um, box. So if that kind of tells you what we're going to do today. Um, and so we're going to go to the rectangle tool and make a simple box here. And then we're going to right click it and convert it to a symbol. And with the symbol, we're going to make it a movie clip so that we can make different animations with it along the way. And so we're going to name it as well so that we can keep everything sort of in the right um, area so we know what everything is. It'll make it a lot easier. And so we're putting exploding initial box. So if that's this is going to be the first box that it's going to start with and then it's going to explode into different little um, boxes and I'm going to show you how to change the boxes into something else as well so that you can easily have something that you can change and update over time. So now we're going to make this little box here and right click and then we're going to make this into a symbol as well and this is the first one of our boxes so this is explosion box here and then we're going to go into the explosion box into the from the library and hit explosion box 2 so we made it into a copy copy we duplicated it by right clicking um and then so we're going to duplicate it again and we're going to keep doing that until we get the amount of boxes that we need now we're going to use the poly star tool we're going to make sure it's on star 3 and 0 0.3. We're going to make this little shape here. And I don't know, this looks like a car symbol. I, is, is it Mitsubishi that looks like this? I don't know, but we're going to line it up so that it's just to make it easier because this is a beginner tutorial. But you want to line it up with the actual lightning that is on the page. And we're going to line it all the way down so that we can get a good little shape here. An organic shape but it's kind of like it turned into a cartoon so this is you ever seen certain movies where the some of it is a actual movie and then the rest of it is a cartoon so it's kind of what we're doing here um, and if you make a mistake just go to edit undo so we named this layer light and so that it's uh, going to be separated and easier to manipulate during the process. Is any of you guys scared of lightning <laughs> or thunder? So we're going to put this in here, name it light. Now it's a symbol so that it'll make it easier to find it or to make sure nothing happens to it. It will be saved in the library. Now we're going to double click into the explosion box, the first one. Uh, this is the, um, this is, they're all the same green color, but we're going to want these to be different colors so that we can distinguish everything from each other. So that's what we're doing here, making everything a different color. Then you go on to the next one and do the same thing. And here's all the different colors that we just did. Now we're back onto the main stage on scene one. And I want everything um, about three seconds long. So I would like the background with the thunder to kind of rumble and move around and shake. So that's what we're going to do here. So we created a motion tween. 
and that's going to make it first into a symbol. Then I'm placing different keyframes in different areas and uh, moving it up or down. Looks interesting, right? Here's what it's looking like so far. Like you're in a movie and everything's rumbling and shaking. Let's go to the initial box here and add some movement to it. And make sure it's about three seconds long even when you get into the actual symbol. Make sure everything lasts about three seconds because the actual scene is going to be about three seconds. Then we've opened up the motion tween, the actual system that helps you to make things go faster or slower when it's automatic movement. So um, you can click an area and drag it up or down, insert keyframes, and then drag it. So now if I was to leave it like this, see how it slows down because the curve is closer to the top. So now it's uh, not as steep It's and it's going to slow down at the end like that. So it'll go fast and then slow. Now I'm creating motion tweens for the other boxes as well. This is what this one's movement will look like. And we've done that to all of them now. All of the little boxes. So now let's drag things onto the stage. And because it's starting off not being there, the beginning part, the box isn't there. That's why you're not seeing a actual box when I'm dragging it. It's just like a plus sign, but you still can see where it will be placed because the plus sign is there. So you still kind of know where everything's going to be. Let's see what it's looking like so far. A little everywhere, but it is an explosion. But there's a lot more that we can do and then we'll continue to fix it up. And I'll also show you what we can do to quickly change these boxes into something else but keep the same movement later on in the video and i'm making the one second mark the point when the actual uh lightning or um, the cartoon lightning hits the box at one second so that's going to help me to know when things are going to happen or need to happen on the screen this is what it's looking like so far little pieces of the initial box starts to break apart if you notice that but it's not lasting very long so we need to we need to fix that and then so now we also have what it's looking like with adding and making changes to each and every symbol and so now you see that there's actual faces on the symbols and that was easily done by just going into the symbol one two three four here and to making changes and but the motion will stay the same and I just have a last message for you guys so hey everybody this is one of the faces I added high to it but you can also drag things to make it bigger like this don't forget to subscribe have a great day today bye